Welcome everybody. I wanted to do a, a five minute distribution preview of Sabian Linux 10. Now Sabian is based off of Gen 2, but don't let that worry you. It's super easy to install. And um, because it's based on Gen 2, it tends to be a, a lot more stable than um, some of the other distributions. So if you're looking for stability, uh, this might be a good distro to check out. Also, it's on a um, four month release cycle, so there's a new version uh, three times a year. So you get the uh, latest software each time it's re uh, released. Now I'm going to be taking a look at the XFCE 4.10 version, but um, there are also versions available for um, every major uh, window manager. So let's check out their official website really quick. Now in the XFCE version you'll have the um, Majori as the default browser. You could always go in and add um, any of the browsers you like, whether it's Firefox or Chromium. And I'll show you uh, how the package management works in a moment. So, what we have here is uh, a list of all the uh, different distributions available. So you go and choose what you want, whether it's the torrent or the uh, direct download. In this case, uh, it's torrent files. So you can go with GNOME. K is for KDE on here. XFCE and LXDE. Uh, depending on the server, you'll get different options. But um, it's pretty straightforward. Of course, if you're not a fan of uh, Midorian F X F X XFCE, you can um, go in and um, add Firefox if you like. All right. So let's check out the package manager. This is pretty cool. Oh, looks like I already have Chromium installed. So let's do uh, something else. Let's uh, add Clementine. Now it's going to ask, I already put in my uh, root password a moment ago. So it's going to ask me here if I want to uh, install some uh, required uh, dependencies. Go ahead and confirm the install. I'm wrong. It's asking for this last. This does take a little bit longer to. Um, download and install in my experience, but it is actually a pre-compiled version of the software. So if you're a fan of Gen 2 for uh, compiling its software, um, this won't be for you. However, if you want to try out Gen 2 uh, for the first time, or perhaps you want a Gen 2 but don't want to wait for the long compiling routine, then you can check this one out. I did install Wine to try to play a uh, uh, Steam that ran into some glitches. I don't hold that against them. I'm actually kind of a noob at uh, trying to get Steam to work on Linux. Looks like we're ready to go with this program. So let's bring up Clementine. Took a moment to load there, but it is the first time after all. Alright, let me see what else I can show you guys before I head off. You know, I think that's pretty much it. Um, now, if you're interested in um, in Sabian, I would definitely uh, tell you to check out the XFCE version. This is uh, super stable, and um, I actually find that it is a wonderful uh, substitute for um, uh, Zubuntu or even Ubuntu Studio if you want an uh, even more stable version of XFCE. Uh, the best part is, is that it, uh, it does have an automatic updater. And uh, when there's no updates, it tells you, hey, there's no updates. Cool. So anyway, have a good evening, and I'll talk to you later.